Uh, my name is Mike Flager, pastor of St. Savannah Church. Um, no problem. I'll remember my name. <laughs> um, so I got a call saying that there was a shooting down here. Um, hearing the information and from some of the witnesses that are out here that people got out of a car and got down to the street and aimed. When you aim at a mother and a two-year-old child and a man sitting there, you have no conscience. You know you're a coward. You sit and you look and you see a two-year-old child and you shoot, which means you have no heart, you have no conscience. So my hope and prayer is, is that um, somebody with a conscience will give information. Either give it to the police, call us at St. Sabina, call somebody, but somebody out there hopefully has a conscience. When a two-year-old ba two baby is shot in the middle of the afternoon, they're cowards. Father, do you have any information about what may have happened? Like, the two-year-old was grazed in the foot. Is that perhaps because the parents tried to cover that? Is what now? I'm sorry. Did, did the parents perhaps try and cover the little baby? No, that I don't know. Again? I just know that they all three were together sitting out there. And the older man was just an innocent victim in the street. Um, just a bystander being outdoors, you know. But no, I don't know. I, I mean, I think it happened so quickly, you know, they they didn't even know. They were hearing some information that perhaps the child was being picked up from some sort of home daycare, or perhaps swap in custody, the parents being. Have you heard anything about that? About what now? About the, the child may have been being picked up from daycare or being. No, I, the only information I know, I know that was the mother and that was the father. and. I do know, since I drive down this block home, and they sit out there often. Um, I know the I know the father, and he sits out here often. Have you seen the family? Yeah, I know I know I know him, uh, and because uh, he sits out there all the time, so it's okay to sit out, out out in the in the public. It ought to be anyway. Can you tell us about what you know about him? Or I don't know anything except that I see him all the time. I've said a little to a number of times when I drive by. Um, I don't know anything more about him. I, I know there's some stuff going on back and forth in the community, um, so, but somebody with some conscience, hopefully, somebody knows, somebody saw, somebody told somebody before this thing continues to blow up. You know, as you know, we just had a 16-year-old shot right in this corner um, and killed uh, a week or so ago. And here's three people, including a baby. You shoot a name in a baby, you have no heart, no soul, or conscience. Absolutely. Thank you, Bishop. I appreciate you so much. Um, my name is David Moore, and I'm alderman of the 17th Ward. Um, this is a heartbreaking incident, as uh, Father Mike just said, um, a cowardly act to aim and shoot um, toward a two-year-old. But I always like to look at, hey, next steps, what are we going to do? But let me just be honest with you. We talked about the shooting that was on 81st. Uh, we talked about um, the, the shooting that happened on 79th a couple of weeks ago. But when we responded, the community, myself, um, leaders in this community responded and, and, and reached up all the way to the top brass on down. They came out here and did a blitz in this community. Not only did they do a blitz, they showed a show of force. But let's be honest, they cannot be on every block. They cannot be on every block. And they're trying their best. And we got to continue to support our officers that they try their best. So if people are seeing anything or hearing anything before things happen, let us know about it. Call my office, call St. Sabina, call the police. Your name will not be used. You can remain anonymous, but we want to be proactive and not just reactive in these situations. Do you know these victims personally? No, I, don't, I don't know that all the names yet. I'm, I, I just got the information maybe a half hour ago um, and, and, and came out immediately as I always do for anything. And so I'm still getting information uh, from CPD as they're gathering their invest and doing their investigation. We're several blocks back, but it looks like from here there are a good deal of bullet casings out there. Can you tell you've been farther down there how many shots may have been fired here? No, I, I, I just got halfway down before you all called us back, so I have yellow no. markers. You, <laughs> you know just, there was a lot, lot of right. bullet shots. There's a lot of bullet shots. Yes, and it, it was what we were doing. It's what the CPD were doing. They've had a presence around here, but they can't be here 24 seven. 
They cannot be here 24-7. They've had a presence around here, not only around here, but throughout the Auburn Gresham community. And but yet I am calling on um, um, we have to hire more officers. Let's be real. We, we need more officers and we got to get more officers out here so that they can cover a wider space and making sure that all our officers have cars. And that's what I'm going to be looking for as we get ready to pass this budget that's coming up. How many how many more police officers and how many more budgets? Uh, I mean, how many more cars that we have in our budgets for our officers? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.